Hello, welcome to Excelling with Naomi. After performing the cointegration test, and you find that there is no cointegration, then the next step is to test for the short run relationship among your variables using the ARDL model. And this is what I want to show you in this video. And I am testing the effect of domestic debt and external debt on GDP. So my predictor variables are log of DD and the log of ED. And the dependent variable is the log of GDP. So the first step is to set the time variable if you haven't done so. So use the command T set then your time variable and press enter. After setting the time variable the next step is to determine the maximum lags for each of the variables of interest. So I am going to do this using the var soc command. So write var soc, then select the first variable, the log of domestic debt, and then click OK. Now in this we find that the maximum lag for the variable log of domestic debt is 1. Then we go to the next variable which is the log of external debt. Similarly, the maxi lag for the log of external debt is 1. Then we check the max lag for the log of GDP. So use the command VASOC and then select log of GDP. So the optimal lag for the variable GDP is also 1. So we are going to to specify the lags for each of these variables in our model as 1 for each of the variables. So after determining the maximum lag for each of these variables, the next step is to run the ARDL model in order to test the short run relationship. So and before you run the ARDL model, also ensure that you have installed the ARDL command. So we write ARDL and then select the dependent variable and then the predictor variables. After that, put a comma and then write the lags, the maximum lags for each. So lags, open parenthesis, one for the log of GDP, one for the log of domestic debt, and one for the log of external debt, and then close the parenthesis. And we are going to use the criterion AIC. Then we press enter. Now these are the results for our short run or the ARDL model where we are testing the short run relationship among variables. So these are the results, these are the coefficients and these are the p-values. So we are go, what you do is that you interpret the coefficients and the p-values as you do for any other regression results. That is it for today. Please like this video and also subscribe to this channel.